YTBC what's the deal. Now I'm on BoxingScene.com right now. I will leave this article in the description box. You click the article, read it for yourself, and come to your own surmise, all right? Travis Kaufman rips Wilder, says he took the easy way out. I beat Ariola's ass, all right? Let me go ahead and read some uh, quotes from this, and I'm going to go ahead and chop it up with you guys. He says, Wilder, I respect you for what you've done from the amateur to the pros. You're the heavyweight champ of the world, but you're fighting nobody man i respect you because you've stayed clean in this sport and that's something we don't find in the heavyweight division you were just about to fight pavekin and his cheating ass tested positive for a banned substance deontay wilder knows who i am because his next opponent is a guy i just beat and they robbed me with chris Ariola. listen man chris Ariola is a personal friend of mine and i won't disrespect him but i will say this you took the easy route by fighting him because I whooped Chris's ass. Not only that, but after I beat him, he tested positive for a banned substance and you picked to fight him. It's that easy way out and fight somebody, you know, he lost to on paper. I lost, but it's now a no contest because he tested positive. You and the world knows I beat his ass. Stop it, man. Fight somebody with the heartbeat. Fight somebody who got a good chin, whether you fight Chris or anybody else, I wish you the best in your career. I just hope that you give me the opportunity to fight you next because I promise you my entire purse that I will knock you out. And that's a fact. All right. Now, some of you may say, who the hell is, is uh, Travis Kaufman? Man? Why is he talking all this shit? All right. He's 6'3", 76 inch reach. He fought on the PBC card against Chris Ariola. It's a fight that I actually thought that um Kaufman won I had him win him by a point or two in that fight um he had Chris Ariola down around three some of you can say oh that's what you think but on the scorecards they gave uh Ariola the fight and then they changed the fight around because Ariola tested positive for marijuana now let me say this I don't know how true it is but somebody told me that Chris Ariola possibly tested positive for something else. Now, you might say, oh, they would have came out with it. That's fine. That's just what I heard from somebody that's in gyms. I'm not even going to name the guy. He is a YouTube uploader, but I'm not even going to name him. Don't want to put him in uh, in the middle. Of it. But I just heard from him, and he's out in that area out in Cali. So, okay, it is what it is with that. Um, Do I think Travis Kaufman could beat Deontay Wilder? I mean, I would favor Deontay Wilder. But just like a lot of us on here, man, I don't want to really talk about guys who Deontay Wilder can't fight right now. Like, there's no reason to talk about Tyson Fury right now because that's not realistic. It's not uh, realistic to talk about Vladimir Klitschko. It's not realistic to talk about Luis Ortiz at this moment. He's supposed to be setting up a fight with um, Ustinov. Now, if they offered him the fight, I'm sure you'll probably cancel that fight and fight Wilder for the title. But I'm just saying... I want to speak on guys that are realistic, and I'm hearing uh, Chris Ariola is a name that they possibly might fight. Um, I thought Chris Ariola, man, to be honest with you, I thought he lost his last two fights. Um, I thought he lost to Kaufman, and I thought he lost to Fred Cassie. Even the Curtis Harper fight was a fight where he was fighting tooth and nail with Curtis Harper. Um, and let me just say this too, because and I actually did a video about this. You can check my page. I did a video about Chris Seriola after the Fred Cassie fight. He said this himself, and I quote, I don't deserve a title shot. I look like shit tonight. That was a fight against Fred Cassie uh, when he came in at uh, 246 for that fight. He came in 236 for uh, Travis Kaufman, so he came in shape. But that fight against Cassie, if you guys don't remember, mm -hmm. if he won that fight, he was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder for a title shot. This was around the time when Wilder was looking for an opponent uh, Pavekin has scheduled to fight uh, what's the boy name Marius Wok and everything was going on with them and their scheduling around each other um, and then they started throwing up uh, Ariola, but Ariola just had to get past Fred Cassie he didn't do it then he started bringing names like Amir Mansoor and so on and so forth Arthur Spilka was the one that ended up getting the title shot when it was all said and done but yeah for those of you, for those of you that don't know Chris Ariola was supposed to fight Deontay Wilder when Spilka fought him all right so and then Ariola was was supposed to fight Dominic Brazil Ariola ended up messing up his ankle I think he had a broken ankle and then Brazil ended up getting the title shot with Anthony Joshua 
So Chris Ariola, now they're throwing him around as a possible opponent for Deontay Wilder. Uh, the last I checked, and let me go to it right now so I can be accurate, but the last I checked, Chris Ariola was not even ranked in the top 15 of the WBC. Now, that really doesn't matter because we know how the WBC and all these sanctioned bodies do. Um, a guy won't be in the top 15 on Monday, and then Tuesday, he's rated number seven somehow, some way. So I won't be surprised if they do have uh, Chris Ariola rated somehow, some way in the WBC's um, top 15. Now, I'm looking at the top 15, and yeah, I don't see Chris Ariola nowhere. Number one, Pervekin. Number two, Stavern. Three, Pulev. Four, Johan Duhapa. Five, Takam. Six, Parker. Seven, Ruiz. Uh, eight, David Hay. Nine, Jennings. Ten, Malik Scott. Eleven, Spilka. Twelve, Molina. Thirteen, Chisura. Fourteen, Ruzan Chagayev. And fifteen, Gerald Washington. All right. Um... Somebody in the top 15, if, if you know, obviously I want to see him fight Pavekin. Uh, we know that fight is not taking place because of the, you know, Meldonium situation. Um, he's already fought Stavern. I wouldn't want to see a rematch, although Stavern, you know, people say, well, fight the next rated highest guy. Okay, well, it's Bermain Stavern. Do you want to see that fight? That'd be a rematch. Kirbet Pulov is another fight I would like to see. Now, I don't know if Pulov is going to do his thing with the IBF. I know he's a mandatory for the winner of uh, um, the fight between Joshua. If Joshua holds on, whether it's Joshua Brazil, they're going to fight Parker. And then the winner of that is supposed to fight Pulev. Pulev versus Deontay Wilder, I think it'd be a good fight. I'll watch it. Johan Duapa, last I heard, a lot of fans were calling him a bum, but some way he's the number four rated guy at WBC. I know fans wouldn't want to see that fight. They'll complain about it. Um, Takam just came off a fight with Parker. I'd love to see him fight Parker, but I think Parker's going to just hold on to fighting uh, the winner of Anthony Joshua and Dominic Brazil. Parker has a fight coming up with uh, Solomon Hawamanu, so that's not going to happen. Andrew Weese, I would like to see the fight. He's number seven by the WBC. David Hayes, another fight. Jennings, I would like to see those fights. Malik Scott, he's already fought him. He's number 10. 11, Spilka, he's already fought him. 12, Molina, he's already fought him. Chigaev, I think they're going to give him back his uh, regular uh, title that he lost to Lucas Brown. They're going to have him fight Fred Zakendo. So it's kind of slim pickings with the WBC rankings. There's only a few guys he can fight if he chooses to fight somebody that's currently ranked by the WBC. So we're talking about Gerald Washington. Um, he's already fought Malik Scott. Uh, Brian Jennings, Hay, Ruiz, or Pulev. That's it. So. I wouldn't want to see Chris Ariola like, you know, I have to agree with Travis Kaufman to a to a point. I mean, if you're going to give fuck it, uh, Ariola a shot, you might as well, you know, Fred. I thought Fred Cassie beat Ariola. I thought Kaufman beat Ariola. You know what I mean? So I guess we'll see what happens. Whatever fight they choose for Wilder, I'm going to watch the fight now. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm not going to watch the man fight because I'm definitely going to watch the fight. I'm going to do a fight prediction, breakdown, post fight, everything. But whoever they choose for him to fight man it is what it is as an uploader i know there's only so much i can say and do on here these fighters are going to fight whoever they want to fight whether it's deontay wilder whether it's your favorite lightweight your favorite welterweight or your favorite junior middleweight these dudes are going to fight who they want to fight i still want to see the pavekin fight um i think whatever they decide to do with him whether it's punishment or fine do it get it over with and uh i still want to see that fight you know what i mean but i want him to be a you know to his test to come back with nothing in him, not even 70 nanograms or whatever the case may be. Um, but Wilder has beaten, you know, a, he's beaten a few guys that are ranked at the WBC. You know, he's beat Duapa, Spilka, Molina. You know, he's beat uh, Stavern. He's already beat four of these guys. Malik Scott, that's five. So, I mean, he's already beaten five of the top 15 guys. So, if you guys want to stay consistent, some of you guys with your, you know, will fight the next highest ranked guy, it's Stavern. Then after that, Pulev. So maybe Pulev, but again, I'm not sure what Pulev wants to do with his IBF situation. But hell, he'll be going right into a title shot with Deontay Wilder. But uh, he just came up a fight with Chisura, but I don't know, man. It's a lot of shit going on right now. But Chris Ariola, Deontay Wilder, do I want to see it? Eh, not necessarily. 
Travis Kaufman, now let's be fair, Travis Kaufman isn't rated by the WBC either. So I guess he's in the same boat as uh, Chris Ariola as far as not being a top 15 fighter. But I guess we'll see what happens with this, man. YTBC, I'm out.